Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jay Jeter, and I'm back with another review. This time I have Fans Projects Function X Series Function X2 Quadruple U. This is their, their uh, I think the second Headmaster in the Headmaster Function X Series. I uh, had this figure a long time ago, had it around the time, same time I did my uh, Smart Robin review, which was a long time ago. So I'm just now cutting through all my backlog to get to this guy and um yeah so here we are and i guess as you see with all the just with just like with all the other um function x figures they come packaged in a standard plain old shoe box with a plastic slip cover and stuff so ain't not much to it i'm just gonna go around the circle you can see it got schematic face of quadruple u which is like i, I don't know if i said it already is a uh, homage to the headmaster weird wolf here's a um so nice little art of weird wolf right there right there the wolf head and that's about it for the packaging and inside the box not only would you get your figure you would also have this instruction booklet which just tells you how to transform him no comic book in here or anything like that just on um, instructions and he gave a preview of the next figure, which was Smart Robin. And here is Quadruple U, or Weird Wolf, as I like to call him, in his robot mode. And he comes packaged just like this. So, like I said uh, before, I'm um, doing my reviews, starting with how they come out packaged. Then I'm transforming from there. So, here he is. He is a homage to Weird Wolf from the season four of Transformers, which is like a three-parter. Headmasters, Target Masters, stuff like that. Zerak, Nebulos, Nebulon, all that good stuff. Which is Maximus is awesome. And so, yeah. I mean, he looks very nice indeed. Nice, bright, vibrant yellow. Got some teal um, arms. Got some wolf head right there behind him. What not? So cool. And take a look at the head sculpt real quick. And it's a nice head. He has um a little visor thing going on, which is like an actual visor or glasses, whatever you want to call it. That you can open it, lift it up. You can see his yellow eyes. So yeah, let me put that back down. It's much cooler like that. Like crackhead. Yellow eyes. And you got you got this weird, cool looking self looking like that. So I'm not sure how good the um, eyes are picking up behind the visor off camera, but they look cool. And yeah, he has some nice little multi in detail, good paint job on this guy. Uh, he comes with no accessories except for his sword, which is also his tail and wolf mode. So let's go ahead and take out his hand right now. And let's go ahead and get to articulation real quick. Focus camera. So articulation, he... Cannot look left or right at all. It has no up and down. He can do this like that. It's, it's kind of how the, the head socket joint is. You can see that. And I don't think he can look left or right. Oh, yes, he can. I'm sorry. It's very tight or he gets caught up on some of these things behind his head, like the wolf head. So, yeah, he does look left and right. Sorry about that. Left and right movement, very limited though. Like I said, it hits on some things that scoped it in. The arms do run around 360 because they are on a ball joint. Uh, shoulders are very limited. They go up about that much. Get them to go out but so much in either direction. He has an upper bicep or elbow, close to elbow rotation. He has a forearm rotation, which is weird, weird, and he has a elbow bend about 90 degrees. Uh, his hands are semi-articulated, kind of due to transformation. He can move his hand out like this and say, stop in the name of love, like that. Uh, got a little hand finger like that to the transformation to his wolf mode. Uh, his waist rotation. Legs are on ball joints. It goes straight out about that much. They go straight 
back, which is gotta be painful. And they go out like that much. And he has a uh, good knee band, almost more than 190 degrees. And he has a uh, toe foot tilt, foot up and downer. Uh, not no ankle rocker or well, a semi ankle rocker that goes out a weird angle like that. Like he's about to break it or sprain his ankle. Hey, let's do the transformation. Yep. And he, all you do is for his, his sore, all you just do is just peg it in to his hand like that. And he holds it very nice. And he also has storage for his sword. Let's take it out. And he can store it at a couple multiple places, like on his on his thighs. He can store his points, points right there. Let's see if I can get this out. My fingernail of justice. I might need some help getting it out with the um, sword. There we go. Get that out. Same thing on the other side. But what you do with the sword, you open that up like so. And you get this hole right there that you pick this portion into right there. And you just close it back up. And he has like uh, some kind of like storage with a sword, which looks kind of weird. Like that, I guess that's why he's called Weird Wolf. He does weird things and things look weird on him. But yeah, this is kind of weird like that. Which he had able to rotate it to an angle. But um, <clears throat> take it off, and he also can store it on his shoulder, like so. And I hear a train outside, which I never seen a train around here, which is kind of weird. Hope it's not no kind of ghost train. And you can store it right down on his shoulder like that. Which looks better, but still kind of goofy. Okay, so yeah. He has those points right there, the story weapon. And let's go ahead and get into a size comparison, shall we? Mania King, Galvatron, Smart Robin, Cold, Cup. And here he is with a preview of my upcoming review with Warden or Fortress Maximus. So yeah, he uh, he looks good with all those scaled together. Uh, we just have my uh, um, Hegemon, but he is in mid transformation for an upcoming review that I should have done a long time ago. But hey, so let's go ahead and get into the transformation of him. So what you're gonna do first? Go ahead and just pop his head off. Pop. And let's look at the transformation for the head real quick. Focus, damn you! There we go. And you can see, you can see a good better look at the um, the eyes behind the uh, the mask. That's cool. They got the little translucent plastic and stuff. So once you do lift that visor up and get his little crackhead yellow eyes, cool. Next thing you know, you like other other heads. Um, fold his legs out. Move his torso, his um abdomen. Push that in, and there you have it. Voila. Not much to him. I forgot who the headmaster name is. The headmaster's name is Monzo. So that is his name. So he comes with Monzo, and it looks good. Uh, standard articulation as all the other fans project heads. Uh, arms go forward and back 360 around. Uh, no elbow bend whatsoever. Uh, knees, legs are individual pieces. They do forward and back and they bend at the knee due to transformation and they do go back about that far if you get them on camera so yeah and nothing too much to his head sculpt at all just a little sculpting there face plate all red so yeah enough of him off to the side you go brain back in our star my close up, Mr. DeVille. All right, what you're gonna do is go ahead and bring this head back a little bit and bring this up like so. Cool, bring open this back up, get out the way. Next, what you're gonna do, bring this forward, 
Might as well rotate the forearms. Pause up these pieces right here. Rotate them back like that. Back like that. Next, what you're going to do is go ahead and rotate this lower half of this body like so. I don't think it really matters which way you do it. It's just nothing to it. So go ahead and untab this or just move this off his, his shin guards off his leg. So what you're going to do, you're going to, oh, yeah, you do untab it right there, that tab right there. So what you're going to do, rotate his foot. Get that weird ankle breaking foot pivot. So bring it around like, like that. Same thing on the other side. Bring out the tabs, rotate it around till you got the legs like that. Cool. Next, what you're gonna do, these legs, you're gonna open it up. It's gonna bring, it's gonna do this little number like that. Same thing on the other side. It's gonna open it up like so. And you got his waist sideways like that. Cool. Next, you're gonna do is bring his rotate. Okay, rotate his thigh around so that the black part right here is facing in the middle. So make sure they're facing to each other on both legs, like so. Then you're going to bring them together. So this peg right here is gonna peg into right here. This black put this black piece. So bring them in, tap them together. You got the wolf's abdominal torso region thingy. So then you rotate the legs, bring them down. I think I got it a little bit backwards, so it does matter. So you rotate this around so that the screw hole is facing to your right side. So bring that, bring these legs down. So pause down. Okay. And one thing I forgot to do is put in his tail. So what you gotta do, this has a little groove or slots right here on the back end of the sword slash tail. Go ahead and separate that again. Get some clearance going. You're gonna slide it in like so. Then peg it back together. Now you got his back half all done. For his front half, what you're gonna do, lift this thing up, his cockpit canopy. Go ahead and lift this up too. And you're going to lift this up, his chest piece, and you're going to push all this down. Kind of like on Smart Robin. Oh, let me bring this thing back up. And all this is going to go down. It's going to taper onto the sides of the figure. So that you get, <clears throat> get the neck out like so. Then you're going to take this part right here and it's going to tab in. Before it was tabbed at the upper turquoise tab. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, focus. Give me some focus. Give me some light. There you go. See it? That tab right up in there. Up in the back, I don't even point it out, but he's going to tap into right here now. So it's going to that tab in. So it doesn't really go in securely, but it just fits right over it. So lift this up, these daggone whatever pieces out the way. Cockpit open, kind of like a Voltron line. Yellow lion. And you put the headmaster dude, get him a sitting position, and you put him in right so. You can't have his arms forward because there's no room. So just keep his arms straight to the side. Put him in. Sit in there. And you're going to put this down first. Then you're going to close the cockpit. Make sure there's nothing else is in your way. And there you go. You got him in the cockpit. I don't know if it was out of focus the whole time. I don't know. 
And there you have Weird Wolf and his wolf mode. Um, like I said, he's I he's um I keep want to say Iger. These fans projects, um, headmasters do have limited articulation. Uh, this one is no exception. So yeah, he on uh, his neck, his neck does not have that great articulation. All you can do is right here at the head, look down and look straight. Can't look up, can't move the neck up or nothing like that. It's just stacked like that. Uh, like I said, before the arm, same thing. Arms do go around 360. Yeah, same articulation. They go out right there. Shoulder joints and it rotates at the upper elbow, bicep, what you want to call that, and it rotates a little bit at the forearm, but not that much because of the transformation. And the lower half, it does got a little bit of a um, pivot due to the um, the waist joint right there. And the leg, the lower legs, they do can go around 360, but they're kind of blocked by the front legs. You know, <clears throat> it's been at the knee, portion right there, doesn't do anything. This part right here goes up and down. You can adjust that to however you can see fit, you know. But yeah, yeah you can give him, yeah, work with him a little bit to give him some kind of like cool stances and whatnot. So, but yeah, the joints are nice and tight. No loose joints at all in this figure. Um, or any of the figures, as a matter of fact, Cold, Brainwave, or not Brainwave, but it's on Smart Robin, Brainstorm. So, yeah. Uh, tail does not articulate, uh, it is stuck like this. Like, it is a lightning bolt, death sword. So, yeah, like the molded in details, nicely sculpted. You got little missiles or guns right there. Uh, mouth does open, which is cool. Uh, nice paint apps and everything. It's like what they um, save money on articulation. They did put it towards um, some nice paint jobs on his, their figures. So yeah, I had no problem with this thing, man. It is, is what you get. Um, the articulation is not the most um, what's the word? Um, most current articulation like you're used to in the modern other figures and stuff like that. But it be but besides limited articulation, it is a great figure. I really do recommend it. I never was a fan of Werewolf, but I just wanted to get the whole set. And I'm glad I got him because he's not just a figure that I just got just because to complete the line or have all the headmasters fight each other and stuff like that. It's just that and he is a great figure. And I, um, I um, don't regret getting him at all. So, yeah. And for a size comparison, you got Reveal the Shield Jazz without you Reveal the Shield on him. So, yeah. That's how big he is. And here, how tall he is next to uh, your classics. Prime. Prime can pet him. So, yeah. Oh, wrong figure to get out of here. So yeah, man, that's my review of uh, Weird Wolf. Uh, make sure you get yours. I got mine from Big Bad Toy Store. I'm not sure they have any more in stock still, but you always check, and you can also check your other outs, um, sources of um, transforming robot goodness like um, The Chosen Prime, Capture Prey, uh, Toy Dojo, Aces Toy Store. Yeah, have your pick. But yeah, this has been JG. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm signing off. Peace.